Right, welcome back to the concepts of bootstrap. In the previous session that we have discussed up to the concept of how we can create different layouts like we can say fixed layout, fluid layout and breakpoint. Apart with this even we have discussed multi-column layout also and additionally to these things we even discussed typography how that we can add some headings paragraphs or we can say writing the classes to the different elements and now in this session we are going to discuss with the concept of how to create a table apply the classes to table and then listings with the list groups and even planning to discuss about form and form elements how we can show in a nice effect so yes as a part now let's start with the concept of how we can create a table we can also simply copy and paste and can just apply so when you are entering into the bootstrap hope you might have already done with the previous courses of html and css and or else you even can also just take a sample code of html and css and for the table you can just add your bootstrap classes so yes i am just writing here creating or we can say table layout and styles let's just open the output first as we have given if you just gone through with the previous session we have discussed especially creating a common layout and throughout the rest of the components of bootstrap like we can say tables forms even with the typography whereas cards and so on so on where navigations everything that will be having a common layout now here I am planning to display a table. So yes, I am having a table at my end. I am just going to copy the table instead of just totally creating from scratch. Then I can just add the required styles and make it something effective. So I am just opening HTML course. I am just choosing organizing data into table. So just open for timing I am just opening in the notepad file. Then after this horizontal line right see the advantage of prettier is the code is totally mismatching and copying from somewhere else and i mean uh, the alignment is totally mess messed up but by adding this prettier it helps you a lot and saving the time of adjustment or alignment of your code part so okay i just copied and pasted and i just write we are able to see a table here now okay let's close this one which let's move to the top
first let us remove this border and then apply the class write a class table and you can just refresh see how nice so when you are writing a class table and this totally how much of column width it is having that is we can say how much of that a table can be able to adjust in the given column that is totally adjusting from left hand side to right hand side and that too defaultly it's having the border lines that too we can say border top border bottom we are able to see whereas yes if we want to make it even if clear cut of column what is column what is a row with a left and right lines also let's write here a table hyphen border by writing this border right you are able to see a nice effect of what you say border lines right now additionally to this yes from now you even going to discuss with the concept of contextual classes what is that contextual classes the concept of contextual classes is a point of applying something a color to the particular button or a text or a link or whatever it is it a point of highlighting depends upon that content priority like we can say if the content wants if that particular content or we can say a row or a column or a button or a link and if you want to make it something that as a highlight maybe a successful or information or de uh, deleting or declining this kind of a different pictures or we can say this kind of not pictures is this kind of a different um, ways of highlighting that particular things where user can easily understand okay this is something important this is something danger this is something else information based something by seeing the colors like we can say blue green red yellow like this okay so now how we can apply you can apply to the total table and you can apply even for the row wise you can apply even for the column wise let's write here so and one more point contextual classes is not related to only for a particular table concept it even applies to the buttons links cards and everywhere or anywhere so only thing is how to apply let's see so i am writing to the total table for example i am just writing table hyphen for example okay if you just write default let's check it out this one nothing else okay if you write for example active let's write you are able to see a gray color the total table is having background color a gray color then now if you want to make it something an info based right nice and one more important part even we have already discussed in our previous sessions especially at css when you are planning to apply the backgrounds to the contents make sure to go with the light colors or else you can just make it an opacity decrease the opacity ranges from 0 to 1 we can say 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so on so on so just check it out because the background colors if it is more effective and more brightness the content will be less visibility that's the reason make sure the backgrounds should be a less brightness okay so now we are applying we got a clarity the total table can have even a contextual class okay for timing i am just removing this one i am just writing here table hyphen stri ped table hyphen stripped 
what is the table hyphen strip the concept of table hyphen strip is every alternate your row that you can able to see gray color as of now here we have this table is a combination of the row spans call spans and sims so every alternate your row like we can say one three five seven so on so on those things that can have this gray color as a background whereas the rest of the white color default one okay and additionally to this now you can also write a table hyphen hover but when you write to just see as a learning stage that you are into this and so i am just removing this table hyphen strip that doesn't mean when you are implementing the concept of hovering effect you should not use strip concept it's not like that just to get an idea more clarity what is the difference between these two things i am just writing only one okay now we have written table hyphen hover and i am just placing a mouse here see it's a row this is one row totally we can get a clear idea whereas it's one row second one row one row one row like we can say row y is the total row okay so hovering effect when user places a mouse over on a particular row that will be highlighted okay even apart with this yes if you want to make it a class table hyphen info then make it something a default that heading work if you want this one in other format a schedule of course you can just where is that schedule here write write a class a table hyphen mm, let me go this time for example and another just to see the different different cars okay so i'm just planning make it a primary what are the contextual classes that we are having we can say we can say info primary secondary warning danger active light dark all these things okay we can see these are all the contextual classes okay i just given here a table hyphen primary let's see the difference whereas so in the same way it's just for your understanding purpose i'm explaining here how far that you can add what are the different contextual classes that we are having like this okay so but depends upon the content which one that should be highlighted and which one is important which one is a priority or which one should be an a secondary or which one should be something a successful way especially this successful and danger things especially this will be given with the buttons like when user clicking and if you are getting a successful output you will be getting a successful statement with a green color whereas if you want to make it something a danger or declining we can make it a table hyphen danger so this is all about how you can work with concept of a table and with applying some contextual classes additionally with the table classes also right then now let's move to the concept of creating lists and further list groups so i am just writing here or creating create lists and its styles dot html now the lists two different types of lists or we can even say three but mostly used commonly used two different listings two different types of lists that we can say an order list and order list that's common thing there is one more which is called definition list that's later point okay now let's just take any sample content okay yes we have sorry just let us move into our code okay we have 
sample content and here we have some list of items then and I just even planning to add some headings okay as of now it's not required but I'm just adding h5 anyway we don't need to bother about the alignment because we have a better not a better a best extension which is prettier so now even write the ul and li three items right we have so let's li dot star then ul and how many items okay two items li star two for just understanding purpose i'm just even taking the same sample examples but we can also just even implement a simple like menus home about us something so on so on okay let's check it out as default thing that is uh, which we have ul and we can say here ol let's refresh the page so defaultly we are able to see like this right okay now let's apply the class or classes that we can say to the ul apply the class saying that list hyphen unstyled just refresh the what happened it's removed that bullet points so the same way apply the class then now let's do one thing I will be just planning to go with some other instead of too much of bigger statements I am just writing here ul li into 5 for time being and I'm just writing here home about us products services contact us okay let's first check it out this one okay we have three items sorry five items and for example for the products i even planning to add few more items we can say nested list of items inside that li so i'm just writing here li into Mm, okay three items that we can say for example electronics whereas fashion whereas books and music right great home about us products under the products we are having electronics fashion and books and music okay 
now to total list and I'm applying the class list hyphen and styled so right the total main list of items what are those main list of items home about us products services and contactors these are the main list of items whereas electronics fashion and books and music are inside the list of items of products okay if you write for this because you have given ul here and list and style that also will be removed with the bullet points okay but as of now we are not going to remove it okay so not only the point of just removing sorry the point of a list and style let me just copy and I am removing the nested list of items here to the list okay first let us do on the let's see we are able to see all the list of items one by one home about us products services contact us now I want to make it instead of vertically that is one by one I want to make it a horizontal so I can just write a simple class which is list hyphen inline and for each and every list item you can just apply list hyphen inline hyphen item right how nice it is it's a simple class names that we are able to see the list of items now it's looking a side by side and you can also make it simply a navigation or we can say an anchor elements to this right a menu style where you can just simply add anchor elements to this okay so this is how that you can write now okay this is a concept of a some classes related to the concept of listings whereas now you are enhancing okay i will do one thing i will just copy the same code and then make it a file saying that list groups create list groups and its styles dot HTML let me just remove we no longer wants to use this one then okay even we can just remove this one So for timing we have one list of items and I am even removing this already we have discussed right now list inline so I am just removing right now here we are going to discuss or working with the concept of list groups first let us open the result what we are seeing
okay we are able to see some list of items now write a class saying that list hyphen group I appeared with this when you just go or wants to work with the concept of list group you can just write list group and inside this each and every list item you can specify list group item so let's write here list hyphen group hyphen item how nice it is very nice where we are able to see each list of item inside the particular box effect and overall we are having a border and that two defaultly having border radius and that two it is defaultly aligning from left hand side to right hand side okay so the first one that we have discussed here list group and to each and every list item we are having list group item then additionally to this we can also add list hyphen group hyphen flush what is this flush by writing this class observe clearly the left and right lines gone away only the border bottom and if it is the last item it is not having that border bottom item I mean border bottom line okay so and then additionally you can also write list group hyphen numbered so by writing this you are able to see all the list of items with its number wise then now instead of displaying such a lengthy even though we don't have such a matter in each and every item but how can you adjust or how can you fix in a particular box effect the total list item that is adjustment or creating the list within the particular box effect that you can simply write here w which stands for width width hyphen 25 that is w hyphen 25 w hyphen 50 w hyphen 75 like this so i'm just writing for example first w hyphen 25 so write that output we are getting or we are able to see the list of items with the high w hyphen 25 around the total hundred percentage it's just occupying 25 percentage then apart with this you can also write even for this margin bottom margin bottom a small gap with the so meaning of this one is the line number 48 to line number 54 is a point of ul block the once the content completed displaying it will give some gap to the next content now apart with this let's even add one more so i'm just taking the same example And this time here list group list group fresh list group number whereas everything whereas instead of just having a simple text we can also have a checkbox or a radio buttons like this also so
then write an input element where type equals to radio or checkbox whatever you want then for this checkboxes or radio buttons we have or we can write as it is a form element so we can say form hyphen check hyphen input and if you want to give some gap either you can I mean at the right hand side either you can write with the margin right or that is MR or we can say ME or we can say MY so I am just writing here ME then now in the same way I am just writing this for timing this so let's do one thing So let's refresh. Right. Okay, we can just remove let it be numbers, but we are able to even the checkboxes, right? So this is how that you can write a checkboxes or we can say a radio buttons. And if you observe one more point, a small gap between these two things. If you want, maybe to the maximum or minimum. Okay, you can see here ME, ME1. ME2, ME3, ME4, ME5 to the maximum we can use it. Okay, so this example gives a clear picture how you can add not only the text in the list, even you can add any item, maybe a checkbox, even a small thumbnail effect also. Then, additional to this, now this time, so in this example, along with this, we're planning to make it some icons representation also. So what I will do here is I will just take a copy of this once again like home contact whereas this one sorry we can say products services and so on let's write okay now what is our concept here is I am planning to add icons let's do one thing how to use or how to add the icons to the content so you can just search the Google bootstrap okay you can say it's not required bootstrap 5 icons CDN content delivery network which is a, a live URL we can say we can use bootstrap 5 icons CDN link and we are getting some let me just open So how to use okay you can use it is a point of how to work with the concept of uh, installing the required packages or dependencies that's totally different out of this box and just that will be discussed in upcoming sessions especially and we can say in server side technologies even we can also discuss with the JavaScript but actually in JavaScript course we did not cover we will be adding 
further in upcoming sessions okay so you can just check it out here just scroll down you are able to see different icons for example if you are planning to use any icon for maybe uh, icons icons plus okay let me just do one type here home yes of course we are getting and which icon if you want to use for example okay let me just go with this only anything that you can just choose i am choosing this one and when i click on this and we are getting the code we can just copy this code bi bootstrap icons and how to use this code right so to use this code you just have to, either you can see copy html you can also copy this one you can also just move on you can also use in cs if you want to use in css if you want to use in js if you want to use in html but for all these things that you have to use a live url okay first let me do one thing i'm just copying this simple i and class equals sir class equals to bi hyphen sorry bi space bi hyphen house let's place for example here let's check it out in our example here we didn't get okay so what we have to do here it's missing what is that missing for a bootstrap we have a bootstrap.min.css okay but for bootstrap icons we have to use an live url so you can just move to the docs and you can just um, okay let's do one thing here you have just type bootstrap icon cdn link right now or font awesome icons whatever you want for timing i'm just planning to use bootstrap icons cdn link you can you no need to search everywhere or anywhere i'm just giving you a simple technique when you search for bootstrap icon cdn link you are getting here a link so just open that bootstrap icons first link itself then just come down all these are all icons okay it can be anything then how to use yes include in html so either you can go with html or if you want to go with css it's your wish i just even prefer to go with the css because at one place that if we add the total style sheet will be given a call in all the html pages right now so that's the reason so let me just open in our custom styles okay but here bootstrap icons okay we have able to access now let's check it out whether we have a class name is matching with the given link we are able to see that means yes we are into the correct correct means we are able to use the class bi space bi hyphen house and to run this class or to show or to get the output of this class we can just use the bootstrap icon cdn you no need to specify bootstrap 5 bootstrap 4 something like this because bootstrap icons is a separate uh, we can say library then you can just search for bootstrap icons in the first itself we are able to get that link if it is not you can also even search by scrolling down we'll be able to get somewhere else so wherever you get something all complete sorry a complete list of bootstrap icon class names and so on and so on okay so like this now the same way um, okay if you want to know what are the icons we are having right now if we we just copied for a home we have get an idea we are using then for about us or for contact us or for products 
so i'm just searching here about these people have given for about okay it's your wish anything that i am just using it's not meant to go only particular thing i am just using this one so i am just copying that one and i am just placing in our in our place for about us like this okay if you want to give something space let's you something space let's check it out right the same way you can also search for products services let's just search here okay, let's go back and then product or products no data or we can see mm, group of okay let's just write here service or services okay service can just scroll icons it will be but here airplane okay android whereas arrow left arrow full screen bag there's badge balloon bookmark whereas arrow marks booklet brightness whereas calendar so okay you can just choose like like this or as if you want to make it something any relevant icon you can use for group of car products or cart icon or we can say group of icons like mm, we can say it's a charting okay and just it's not important at this moment i'm just searching for the icon which is for products or group of items you can just check it out in the search box but anyway because we can't go for n number of things right now so i am just searching for timing here products can also be called as a group of p r o d just write search okay we have search whereas if you want to make it a contact contact icons okay they have given something names so it's only total thing is you have to just search and whichever is matching for you you can just place it so this gives a clear picture how that you can add the icons to your contents let's refresh even the last one also contact us for last one that we have given right now but still it's not coming mm. that means let's copy once again mm. Mm. bi space bi this one Rolodex, okay. You can also just, if you are facing yes, the icons which you are planning to use in your page, and if you are planning or in your particular content place, and if you are not able to find out, then don't think that is the only one solution. You can just use here 
font awesome icons you can say font awesome cdn link and this is also one of the way where we can just use same like so okay, and just use opening this one they have given something else okay so i'm just using this one when you are using this uh, can we use bootstrap icons and at the same time font of some icons yes you can use because of you can say simply for bootstrap icons you can say bi as a prefix whereas font of some it will be having fa but actually it's not recommended either of any one it's better to use so let's write sorry i1 wants to convert into the css so import url and just cut off this url okay so and how to use this one font awesome icons you can just search or we can say font awesome icons go to the particular website and hundreds and thousands of things are there here okay and yes if i am planning to use for example services let's search try okay simply write service whites one second mm -hmm. services is a common word only let's wait solid regular okay anything if i just click on it they did not redirect it huh? okay click on icons let's reload the page and for example here okay i am just writing here vehicle Search, search the pages are not once again free and open source okay let's do one thing Want some icon for edit user location? So I want to get for services, and you can just search here in anywhere. I'm just opening list check icon, whereas font or some icon. fa fa at fa automobile so like this okay let me just open might be the pages or at this moment it's not loading so but no worries if you observe here you can just write for example fa fa space asterisk it will show what do you say star mark okay in the same way i am just writing here for understanding purpose in our example let's come down and for services yes for irrespective of anything that you can just write here a class fa space fa hyphen for just understanding purpose i am just writing search let's check it out in our example right where i gave that is font awesome is working 
okay so we don't say that it's not working we it's working only thing is that we have to just search the icon what we have planned to get it okay right okay now for products for you can just check it out like this for person or products yes then fa hyphen product hyphen hunt so if yes let's just check it out one example here for products apply the class fa space sorry, fa hyphen product hyphen hunt let's check it out they have given that item icon see if it is not working it you won't get even this icon this this is the icon they have given so for contact us so whichever either you can choose with concept of uh, bootstrap icons or you can choose with the concept of what do you say font awesome additionally to this there is one more but that is especially given in the high-end picture that we can say a material ui icons that is a totally with the packages or dependencies that you have to use not in simply just copying and pasting the link we can say the cdn link okay so i'm giving an idea the different icons what are those even google icons we have of course material ui icons is a product of google product okay so this is all how that you can work with the concept of lists and list groups then even not only it is ended here it depends upon the situation the content wise when we are planning to create a page and how it works we'll be writing different classes different items so different uh, we can say the way of presentations will be changing okay so in this session that we have discussed especially with the concept of how we can create a table and apply the styles creating a list and its styles and creating a li list groups and its styles in this example a one example we have even implemented one which is checkbox we can say form and in the next session that we are going to give preference especially what is a form how we can add the different input elements of form and form groups form we can say form with input groups all these points especially will be given one session for those points related to the forms concept okay thank you